Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be discussing with you seven lipsticks high-end um, that I rate a lot, I love and are usually in my purse. Um, I'll show you the actual lipsticks as well as swatches on my lips um, and then um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, right now I'm only wearing my lip liner which is the Revlon Colorstay called nude um that's usually my base so i always line my lips i don't wear lipstick on on its own so i'll be showing you uh these lipsticks exactly the same way same way i wear them um and yeah let's get into this so the first one i'm going to talk about is this one uh this is a nars lipstick it's one of the old ones not the new ones so it doesn't have the uh, magnetic uh closure it's actually the click one um and this one is called niagara it's very corally, orangey, pinky. Uh, I know that's a lot of colours in one, but it's actually very nice. It's very subtle on the lips. Um, it has a nice finish. It doesn't rub off. Um, and even when it wears off, it's, it does leave the lips very moisturised and very comfortable. Um, so I'll put this on for you and, um, and you can see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. Um, let me show you properly. How, what this looks like it's um it's quite a creamy matte I would say um, it's not completely matte but it's very comfortable it has a bit of a taste to it but I think it's fine it's not too bad um, and yeah it's very comfortable on the lips wears off nicely and uh, looks great on every day now the next one that I'm going to show you is one of my absolute favourites. I actually had to take it out of my purse because it lives in there. Um, and it is this one, which is Amazing Grace by Charlotte Til Tilbury. I have never, used, as you can see, I've literally used all of it. I have never finished a whole lipstick like this, like high end. I've never finished it. It's only because I've I own so many, but I just keep going back to this. It has such a nice, like a vanilla scent to it, and the finish is amazing. I've, I think the maze, the finish of Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are just one of a kind. I haven't seen a lipstick like this before. Um, yeah, it's called Amazing Grace. It still is like the peachy pinky color, and I'll show you what it looks like on the lips. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. I think this is the most comfortable lipstick, the most comfortable lip lipstick I've ever owned, which is why it's it's loved so much. I mean, these are the kind of lipsticks I actually wear on a daily basis as well. I think they're just slightly more flattering. Um, it's not a pink, it's not an orange, it's not a coral, it's something in between. It's there, but it's not there. So I really like this lipstick and the finish of these are beautiful. So the next one that I am going to show you, I'm going to stay on the same um, brand, is Charlotte Tilbury's, again, uh, Red Carpet Red. Again, um, the two reds that I like the most are is this one, and then I like um, the MAC Red. Not the big apple red, I think that's one of the MAC ones that people usually rave about, but um, well, I think it's Russian red, I'm not really sure. But um, these are two reds I wear interchangeably. Um, and oh, I also wear the Armani red, um, but that's the only my lipstick I have and I've just recently got it. So I'll, I'll see how I go about this, but these are the ones I actually love. Um, again, it's got a beautiful finish to it, um, as you can see, got a bit of my old lipstick on which is rather gross but anyway um yeah again it's got a beautiful matte matte texture uh and especially when you're wearing a lipsticks this dark um and this formal you would want them to stay and i have had i think at least 12 hours of of um wear on this uh even though i had um two i had lunch i had a dinner tea uh, water in between and everything and it stayed put so um, I'll show you what this looks like as well in just a minute so this is what it looks like on the lips I absolutely love this I mean again the texture is spot on um, it's comfortable it stays on it looks fantastic really high pigmented and just so so comfortable and I just love that vanilla taste it's yummy so yeah I really love this so the next one that I'm going to show you, sorry, my, my lips are very stained because of that Charlotte Tilbury lipstick now, um, is this one, which is the Clinique Plum Pop. Um, 
this I'm actually uh, showing in one of my other videos as well. Again, it's one of the lipsticks that stays in my purse. It's very moisturizing, very comfortable, everyday color, and it suits every single skin tone. And I absolutely love this. It has a slight scent to it, but I think Clinique makeups, they usually don't have a scent. It's like more like a medicated scent, but not in a bad way. Um, but anyway, I'll show you what this looks like on the lips as well. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's a very um, everyday colour, perfect for every skin tone, very moisturising, very comfortable on the lips, um, wears off really nicely um, and it's really cute packaging. They've got a lot of different colours but the one I like the most is this one which is 14 Plum Pop. So yeah, love the Clinique one. The next one that I'm going to show you is, has become one of my uh very fast favorite very quickly only because i just recently got this and i'm so much in love with it that i can't stop using it um and it is the tom ford one my god these are expensive um but it's just so worth the money i think it's the twin number 22 forbidden pink this is what it looks like i think i'm only one of the i'm the only person who actually uses the actual tip of the lips lipstick because people don't like to remove the tf written on top of it um but i just i'm just really finicky when, when it comes to the way my lipstick looks and the way it applies so i didn't really mind if the tf got removed um but yeah i really really like this um and i'll show you what it looks like on the lips as well so this is what it looks like on the lips i mean my god costs a fortune but it is just beautiful. I mean, look at the packaging, look at the finish of the lipstick. It is just art in in a bottle. This is a bottle, I'm not sure. Um, but it's just beautiful, it's really comfortable, looks really nice, and the odd thing is that it's really creamy, and you would think that it wouldn't uh, stay on for long, but it actually stays on for really, really long. So it's very long lasting, um, and, to be honest, it's, yeah, it's just beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, now, the next ones I'm going to show you, I've got only two more left, um, and both of them are liquid lipsticks. Now, I'm not a very, not a big fan of them, um, but these two, actually, I do like a lot and I use a lot. Um, this one is the Bare Minerals one, um, and this is in the colour, is it Juju or Juju? Um, and it's the matte version. Um, this was actually given to me to me by one of my friends because she um, got it in a um, in a beauty box, um, and she didn't like the color, didn't suit her. So she gave it to me, and I was like, mm, I'll see what it looks like. But it's actually really nice. Again, very comfortable. It's like an everyday color will suit everyone, um, and it does not wear off. I mean, seriously, I ate, I think I ate lasagna and spaghetti. And I don't know what else I ate with this and you could still see it at the end of the day so it's really good and I'll show you what it looks like on the lips so this is what it looks like it's um a very neutral color uh, it's like a cross between I would say beige a pink and a brown um, really nice it's got again the doe foot applicator if that's what it's called but it's it's a flat one it's not the one with the which has like the tip of it. So it's slightly different, but again, very comfortable. And once it's set, it's set. You don't have to do any touch-ups or anything. It just stays there. So yeah, I really like this. And finally, the last one that I will show you is I think the most worn liquid lipstick I've ever used. Um, and it is the Huda Beauty color in Trendsetter. Now the funny thing about this lipstick I'll tell you is um, a lot of people own it but it looks different on any on everyone and it's so bizarre. I mean um, my friend, one of my friends, she's quite darker than I am and she wore it. She looked, it looked very different. I said what lipstick are you wearing? She's like Trendsetter, you've got it yourself. And I said that's true. It just looks beautiful everyone. It looks very different on everyone and Again, the finish of this is just amazing and the packaging is just beautiful. So yeah, I'll put this on my lips and I'll show you. I'll be back in two minutes. So this is what it looks like. 
I mean, there has to be some plumping formula because every single time I put this on, it makes my lips look bigger and they, they look larger. It's like I've got injections in. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love this. And the reason why I left this to the last is because I, whenever I wear this, I get so many compliments and people actually stop and ask me which colour I'm wearing. I don't know why. I don't actually own a lot of brown lipsticks, but out of the ones I do, this has to be hands down the best one. Um, this, in comparison to the min uh, Bare Minerals one, is actually very liquidy when you put it on your lips. It's very thin, uh, but then it sets. So even now, even if I want to rub my uh, lips together, I can't because it's it's set but it's not drying at all i mean it's not uncomfortable i i can't actually feel anything um but in a good way so yeah i absolutely love this and i looks i think it looks really nice whether you use it like for an everyday with just mascara or if you want to use it for a night out i think it looks really really nice and um yeah big big fan so a big thumbs up for all of these lipsticks um, and so I'll just end my video here now um, if you guys like videos like these please 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 give this a thumbs up and like and subscribe and uh, let me know what else you would like to see and I'll be happy to um, fulfill your requests see you later take care bye